are given a data like this is given to you or suppose you have to find out the integration of f of x dx from a to b. What I will need to do? I need to divide this interval a to b into n sub intervals and I will write x0 is equal to a then x1 then x2 and at last it would be xn. Okay. So let us uh, do this by geometrically. Okay, suppose you have this function y is equal to f of x. Okay, and here are some points say a to b. Okay, so as I said we have to find out the integration of this from a to b. So for that what we need to do? We will do one thing. We will do one thing. We will divide this interval as say a, this is x0, this is xn and there would be points say x1, then there would be points say x2, then x3 and so on. Okay, and for the corresponding to these values of x, there are values of y, y0, y1, y2, y3, and here say y. Okay, so as I said, to find out integration of this function from here to here, we are dividing into sub intervals. So consider this one. Consider this interval that is from x0 to x. 1 and let shade this one ok so we will find out integration from this interval then integration on this interval and then uh, integration this interval and then we will add up all these values to get the complete integration from the interval a to b or x0 to xn ok now if I take the this interval from x0 to x1 so as you can see some points is missing over here okay some portion is missing here and due to this missing portion we will not get the exact value of the integral that's why this numerical integration is called as an approximate computation of the integral because this portion which is left here then it is left here this will contribute to this will contribute to errors now when this contribute to error my answer would be the approximate answer and the very next question that will come in our mind is that can we reduce this error so the answer is yes we can reduce this error and we can still find out uh, how much error is there okay but we are not interested in it but as far as the minimization of error is concerned so that can be done by taking more and more number of intervals okay you have taken interval like this if I take a very small interval like this 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 then very very small error will occur as compared to this okay now my objective is to get this term then this term and then this term so let us take this portion here. So this portion is say this is the portion that we have. Okay, this is x0, this is x1, this is y0, this is y1. Okay, now Now, you see, this is nothing but a trapez, trapezoid, okay? So, you know how to find out the area of this. So, area of trapezoid can be found out by, you know the formula of it, area of trapezoid is nothing but 1 by 2 into height into sum of sum of parallel 
rectangle size. Okay, so what is the area of trapezoid here? 1 by 2. Height is nothing but the difference between this. So this is the interval of differencing that we denoted by H into sum of the parallel sides. So what are the parallel sides? Are these parallel sides? No. Yes, but the parallel side that we can take is this y0 and y1. Sum of the parallel side is y0 plus y1. Okay, so this interval, that is this integral, x0 to x1, f of x dx is same as h by 2 y0 plus y1. Now, we have taken this interval x0 to x1. Now, you move on to take the next interval that is from, that is from x1 to x2. So, when you take this interval from x1 to x2, you would get the another interval, say here, integration from x1 to x2, f of x dx, it would be, again you would get a trapezoid, then again you write h by 2, sum of the parallel side, so parallel side is y1, y2. Next, you will find out for this interval, that is, integration from x2 to x3, f of x dx, what it should be? h by 2, sum of the parallel sides, y2 plus y3. Okay, and so on. Now, if you go on finding these values, and at last, when you get integration from, and so on, when you find out the next one, that is integration from xn minus 1 to xn, f of x dx, you would definitely get h by 2, sum of the parallel sides, that is yn minus 1 plus yn. Now we got the values of all this integration from x0 to x1, integration from x1 to x2, xn minus 1 to xn. Now substitute in this, when you substitute in this, Therefore, integration, or you can say this is to be equation A, therefore, equation A becomes, you can write it, equation A becomes, integration from x0 is equal to A to xn equal to B, f of x dx is equal to what is the first value that I am getting? h by 2. So, if you can see, I need to put uh, sub, sum of the values of this, this and all this. So, in all the values what I have, I have h by 2 to be common. So, I am writing h by 2 and then I am having this y0 plus y1. Then I have y1 plus y2. Then I have y2 plus y3 and at last I have yn minus 1 plus yn. So, by looking at this, you can see that there are few terms which are repeating. So, which are those terms? The repeating term is this y1, y2, y3, then yn minus 1. Before that, there would be yn minus 1. So, what I can write, I can write h by 2, y0 is not repeating, y is not repeating, so non-repeating terms I am collecting at once and rest of the repeating terms all are repeating 2 times, so I can write it as 2 times of y1 plus y2 and so on up to y n minus 1, okay, and this is nothing but the trapezoidal rule that we will use to find out the integral of the function for the given data. So, this is integration say a to b f of x dx is equal to this and this is known as this is known as trapezoidal rule. 
okay so we will make use of this to find out the integration numerical integration for the given data